दिस इज ईशा सोनीगर फ्रॉम राजेश्री शाह कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एस पी एन आई आर डिजिटल टीम एंड वी आर बैक विद एपिसोड फाइव इन द अल्यूमिनाई टॉक सीरीज दिस एपिसोड वॉज प्रोड्यूस कीपिंग इन माइंड ऑफ आर मैकेनिकल स्टूडेंट्स बट वन द एपिसोड वॉज कम्प्लीटेड वी थॉट दैट दिस इज समथिंग एवरी वन शुड गिव इन यू लेट्स लिसन टू द मास्टर माइंड ऑफ रेड लाइन रेसिंग टॉक अबाउट द ब्रुड ट्रूथ रिलेटेड टू एम एस सिनारी ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग स्कोप एंड मच मोर Hi, this is Isha Sonika from Rajeshri Shah College of Engineering, SP and IR Digital Team, and we are back with fifth episode from the Alumni Talk series. In this video, we have Pushkaraj Sir with us, who is a 2015 pass out from Mechanical Department from our college. So, Sir, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Pushkaraj, uh, and I'm a student of Rajeshri Shah College of Engineering. I completed. Uh, my bachelor's in year 2015 in mechanical department uh and then uh i shifted to germany to pursue my masters at rwth uh my masters was in computational mechanics so it was a combination of computer engineering and mechanical engineering uh that lasted for approximately 2 to 2 and 1/2 years including internship and thesis and currently i'm working at volkswagen in the field of embedded software development uh, for battery management system of electric vehicles okay so starting with a subject question uh, yeah. how do you, how do you prepare uh, prepare for ms so so essentially the two most important things for masters are uh, your academic scores during your eight semesters of bachelors uh, and the second is uh, gre ilts or toefl so depending upon every university every course different kind of cutoffs are needed but as a general rule uh, having good marks in your undergraduate definitely helps uh your selection process throughout uh throughout all courses and that's common for all countries including germany what the third thing which matters the most is what you do along with your studies so that is basically extracurricular projects like a uh, student formula robotics uh, your internships and your thesis so i would suggest that these three are the most important uh factors which contribute to your selecting uh contribute to your selection in a good university yeah okay so uh, my next question to you is what is your cd system of choice and why uh yeah i would suggest i don't have a particular inclination uh cd system or software in general is just a tool uh so that's like asking which is your favorite machine uh, so i don't have a particular inclination but i would say uh, katia is my cat choice but the reason being i have learned katia during my bachelor's uh, formally in an institute uh, and i have also given exams conducted by dassault systems which is principally uh, the organization which has built katia but i would say yeah more or less even even if the students student should know any cat software but they should know one particular software from start to end yeah but yeah personal preference goes to katia okay so well, during our the college days what was your project and what did you learn from it so during my undergraduate in rajeshri shahu i was involved in baha and supra which were the two uh, automotive competitions uh, or the automotive teams so right from first semester to eighth semester i was involved in uh, the automotive project so right from conception designing managing funds uh, and also manufacturing testing the car i was initially a part of the baha team which my senior started and uh, when i was in my third year i started the supra team along with three or four more batchmates so that was the first time uh, the team redline racing which is known in our college yeah. that's our supra team that was started uh, first by our batch students in 2015 
so from learning point of view i would say uh, that contributed to a huge amount uh, not just technically but it also helped me to take decisions uh, and also to decide field uh, for my master studies so that was one learning experience uh, second learning experience was that uh, initially in a undergraduate level in india we are not so exposed to working with 20 25 people uh, on a technical project uh, and a project that lasts approximately more than an year so learning many things regarding team management uh, coordinating with people uh, coordinating on technical aspects with other students collaborating also uh convincing college uh, faculty convincing college management uh, getting investment getting funds uh, marketing yourself going actually to the event these all things uh, i would say i learned uh, through this project of like i was a part of this team for four years so this is what i learned and i would say uh that's that's a one major contributing factor to my decision uh of working uh of uh, deciding basically to take up master studies uh and that project also helped me to get an internship uh in india and it also helped me to finalize uh my field of master so many students in come up to me and uh, they find it extremely difficult in selecting a master's field or specialization so such projects will give you more clarity uh, as to what exactly you like and what exactly you want to do uh, in your masters that's that's really nice so what are your thoughts on the statement it's hard for mechanical students to find a good job uh so two things in your question is it hard to find a job and a good job so i would say uh for mechanical engineering uh yeah in current scenario in india it is difficult to get a job and i would like to enlighten everyone that it's not just in india but in also in germany if you are from core mechanical engineering so it is difficult to find a job you the reason being if you see mechanical engineering vastly it contributes it's comprised of uh, automotive it's comprised of machines and everything and if you see the cars which are coming uh, then you can understand one thing that until until today or let's say in last 100 years car was a machine so i did need a mechanical engineer to design a car but car is gradually transitioning from a machine to a gadget and if i have to design a gadget i'll need software developers i'll need entc engineers i need computer engineers i need mechatronic engineers so yeah it is uh, hard not just in india uh, outside india as well but i would say that goes uh, for all branches of mechanical for all branches of engineering in india i would say due to our uh, entire education system being built up out, uh, on the basis of english language uh, we have lot of it companies uh, so if you see just if you compare the numbers there are very few mechanical engineering companies as compared to uh, let's say it service providers you just see how many automotive companies are there in india and how many it companies you will get the difference so it's just at the end of the day a numbers game and that's why i would say in a college if you have the same number of seats for all branches naturally the companies and the positions for mechanical students will like core mechanical students will be less so because of that ratio i would say that it's a bit hard to find a job in mechanical engineering yeah so uh, can you suggest some skills that are required in today's generation today's uh, world in industry that mechanical students must have 
uh yeah i have given this considerable thought myself uh and uh i i don't know what's the scenario today but at our time it was a strict notion of most of my batchmates that mechanical engineers are not the ones who will write a program and in today's time i would it's my concrete suggestion to everyone even if you are weak at english or marathi does not matter but you should know at least one language or one computing language all mechanical engineers should know at least one computing language very very well i would suggest to start with matlab and simulink because these languages are relatively easier so matlab is like a language which is built for mechanical engineers to program and if you know matlab and c++ you will probably tackle most of the things that fall under the category of mechanical engineering and that's one skill that i would say is 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 like i can, it's you cannot bargain with it you must have it and understand one thing that in mechanical engineering job no one will come to you and say write a 15000 line code or write like a big algorithm but you should know how to do basic things using computer programming so that is i would say first a uh, skill and even if you are in mechanical so there are certain jobs in mechanical engineering which it or other branches cannot do so there is initially a requirement let's say in robotics and mechanical engineering even in logistics that i need a mechanical engineer who can do considerable programming so i would say that's one skill which will help you to improve again your hit rate uh, while finding a job and the second thing which i would say is as a mechanical engineer uh, you will be ultimately it's not a job where you can just sit in front of your machine uh, you will most of the jobs to involve going on to the actual production site or actual shop floor and talking with people so communication uh, not just any communication but communication skills on technical topics so basically can you i mean can you explain me an ic engine through a presentation or can you i mean ic engine is a bad example let's shift to electric cars so can you explain me how a battery works uh, in a technical manner so i am talking about those type of communication skills so i would rate these two skills as must have for all mechanical engineering undergraduate students okay so as a mechanical engineer what are the opportunities you see coming up for the com- uh, new mechanical students for new mechanical engineering as like i said that uh, those who are interested in automotive realize that uh, now in some years time even in india you are seeing that transition that uh, car won't have a uh, car won't have an engine or a gearbox or for that matter a differential so if i remove most of the mechanical components from car why do i need a mechanical engineer to design a car i'm not saying that mechanical engineer will not be needed it's just that uh, you will need uh, those skills to have a job in automotive so i would suggest look automotive field from an angle of uh, let's say something like an electronic product so it's an electronic product in my eyes even if you go to the second most branch which i see is robotics that is one major field uh, which is correlated which practically needs engineers from all branches so these two things uh, are at the top of the mind of top of my mind but even if you see uh, fields like logistics fields like supply chain for which there is no formal education at undergraduate level so you cannot do like i mean you can but usually you do not find a course in logistics for your undergraduate so essentially some mechanical engineer someone from other engineers must learn those skills to essentially get those kind of jobs so i would 
all those mechanical engineers who are trying to find a job internship do an exercise just browse the job portal of the best companies in the world not just in india but also the world you will get get your answer in 5 minutes like just see their job positions and you will understand what kind of engineers they are needed and being passionate about one thing is is good but you also need to sometimes analyze uh, what exactly is the requirement and cater your skills or tailor your skills in that direction yeah i agree so um, embedded systems are emerging in other countries right now but mm-hmm. in india due to the lack of na- practical knowledge about it uh, students lag behind so do you have any suggestions for those students uh yeah i mean you won't it's so see fields which have come up in last 15 20 years uh there is no i mean that transition takes time so again like i said there is no formal education course or i don't see usually a course or a subject offered where someone will teach you embedded systems and uh if you have to learn embedded systems from start to end it's like a complete bachelor's course i won't say in india we are lagging behind uh or it's not that we don't have the skills it's just that few people have those skills so yeah i mean even in my master's course no one taught me how embedded software works so initially i also learned it through uh through research assistantship through internship and through thesis so i would suggest if someone is interested in getting such a field uh an internship or a bachelor's thesis what you say is is a good uh, entry point because yeah formally you can learn many things on your own but uh, yeah it's again i mean it's again difficult to have all of that knowledge just at a bachelor's level or even at a master's level that field is one uh, which which values your experience far more uh, than your educational subjects 